Hi and welcome to the Splendor tutorial. Today I will show you how to quickly add a video to a mesh in Blender. I will show you how to set it up both in EV and Cycles, but I highly recommend you use Cycles when adding video to your renders, as it will give you a much better result. We'll start by creating a TV for our video. Press Shift plus A, go to Mesh and choose Plane. Move the plane up by pressing G plus Z. Then rotate it on the Y axis by pressing R plus Y plus 90. Change the scale by going to Object and scale it to 1.08 and then 1.92 on the Y to give the TV the right proportions. Then remember to press Ctrl and A and apply the scale. Next, we'll tab into edit mode, then press E to extrude and X to extrude along the X axis to something like this. Make sure you have face select on by pressing up here or by pressing three on your keyboard. With the front face selected, press I to inset, then create a frame around the screen. And tab back into object mode and then let's add a bevel. So go to Modifiers, Add Modifier, Generate, and Bevel. I will bevel it by 0.01 and give it two segments. In order to add a video, we need to add some materials to the TV. With the TV selected, go into Materials, click the plus sign, New Material, and give it a name. I'll make mine black, but you can choose whatever color you want. This makes the whole TV black, which is not what we want. So let's add another material and rename it. Then select your TV and tab back into edit mode and make sure the front face is selected. Click the video material and assign. The screen will now be white. In order to add a video to the texture, we'll go into the shading workspace. My workspace might look a little bit different than yours, but you should have a window where you can see your TV and one area where you can set up your nodes. Then click Z and select rendered view so you can see the results. With your video texture selected, let's add an image texture to our principal BSDF. Press Shift plus A and search for image texture. Drop it right here and then plug it into the base color. Then click open and add your video file. You want to make sure that you know how many frames your video file is. Mine happens to be 288 frames long, so I'm going to type that in here. Then select when you want your video to start. I want mine to start at frame one. Make sure that cyclic and auto refresh are both selected. We can't see anything here right now because the first frame of my video is black. But if you go back into the layout workspace and then move around on the timeline, you can see the video playing. But as you can see, it's turned the wrong way. So let's fix that. Go back into shading and then with your image texture selected, let's add the node wrangler by pressing Ctrl plus T. If you don't have the node wrangler add-on installed, go to edit, preferences, add-ons and search for it there. Then come back and click Ctrl T while hovering over your image texture node. In the mapping node, you can rotate and scale your image texture. I'll rotate mine by minus 90 degrees so that it's the right way up. We now have the video added to the mesh, but it's still looking pretty dark, so let's fix that. To make our video emit light, we'll open the emission tab on the principal BSDF and plug it into the image texture. Then increase the emission strength. That's looking better. If you want to render your video in Eevee, 
you have to go to render properties and make sure that ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections are all turned on. And now you can go back to your timeline and play the video to see the result. And that's how you do it in Eevee. But if you want your video to look really good, you should use cycles. So let me show you my setup for rendering videos in cycles. We'll go to render properties and choose cycles. And as you can see, the colors in the video are quite blown out. But we're going to fix that by going back to the shading workspace. Then let's delete the principal BSDF. And instead, we'll add a couple of emission nodes. So press Shift plus A and search for emission. Drop it right here and press Shift plus D to duplicate it. We'll also get a mix shader to mix the two nodes. Plug the emission textures into the mix shader. And then plug the image texture into both emission nodes. I'll just move this over here. And if we increase the emission strength of these two nodes, it's still going to blow out the colors in the video. In order to fix that problem, we're going to add a light path node. So press Shift and A and search for light path. I'm going to put it up here. And then plug the camera ray into the factor of the mix shader node. This node still blows out the colors, so we're going to keep this at a lower setting. But look what happens if we increase the strength of the other emission node. You can increase the strength as much as you want, but it's not blowing out the colors. What's really cool about this is if you turn off the world lights and let's move the TV over to the plants right here. Oops, sorry. You can see that it's actually lighting up the scene. But if you use Eevee instead, it's not going to cast any light over your scene, unfortunately. And that's why I highly recommend you render videos in Cycles. And that's it for today. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Until next time, bye!